Hey everyone, it's Yelenka here and just a few hours ago a new phone, the Asus Zenfone 10 was released. So let's see what I have to say about it. Let's first talk about the packaging because the packaging it gets in is 100% recyclable. At least that's what Asus states. And you not only get the phone we'll talk about later, you also get a bumper case, which is something other companies don't usually do so i know there are a few which do it but it's always such a great thing when you open a phone and you need to get a case you need to get a screen protection whatever so this is something that really is very nice of them that they give you the like kind of starter case one thing i have to say about the case is that it really could be the color you get the phone in the phone comes in midnight black stereo blue aurora green Eclipse red and Comac white. So I think that it would be so amazing if they would send the case and the color of the phone. It would just look beautiful. That's why we should come straight to the phone. And you're probably asking yourself which color I got it in. I got it in the Eclipse red color, which is such an eye catcher. So I'm so happy that I was able to get my hands on this color. What you also get in the case is uh, USB-C to USB-C because you're obviously going to charge it with USB-C, which is the standard now, and you also get a charging brick with USB-C. That's about everything what's in the box. So now it's time to really look at the phone. The first thing, what you notice when you open the box is that the phone is pretty small, sits in your hand really nicely. It is very light. It weighs just 172 grams. So it's really a pleasure to hold it in your hand and you don't feel like you're holding a brick or something. From the design, I really like that it's so light, so small. It's just a pleasure to use. You get a 5.9 inch AMOLED screen, which is a pleasure to look at. And the phone itself is IP68 water and dust resistant. What is absolutely amazing is that as you get the a USB-C charger. I should have mentioned that it's 30 watt. And now you can charge it with wireless charging with 15 watt, which is using the QI standard. So if you're using any wireless charger, which is supporting this standard, then you'll be able to wirelessly charge your phone. We'll look at the USB-C and wait oh there's another hole. What's that for? You get the 3.5 millimeter audio jack. So if you're a music junkie, I think that this is gonna be great for you. Another thing you notice when you look at the phone are the buttons, because there's not just a power on and off button and the volume buttons, but the power on button kinda is weird to the touch because it's not like the volume buttons, it does not stand out, but this is actually more of a touch button where you can do gestures. So the phone comes with the newest Android 13, and you can use the plain Android or you can use the Zen UI. So what the Zen UI does, it adds you great features. It gives you some tips. It gives you like options to clone your phone pretty easily and so on and so on. But it also gives you this swipe option, which you can use the button for. So what you can, for example, do is if you're watching a video, you can use the button. You can swipe up and down to go forward or backward 10 seconds, or you can use it to swipe up and down your notifications bar are there also other options you could choose from so this is something which is very handy and what i have not seen on other phones when we talk about the memory and storage you can go up to 16 gigabytes for your read-only memory and up to 512 gigabytes for your storage so for your ROM. i have this phone in the best configuration ever i have the 16 gigabytes of ram and the 512 gigabytes of storage but you can get it in 8 gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage. Then you can get 8 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage. And then there's, of course, the option I have. So 16 gigabytes and 512 gigabytes. Another thing that probably catches your eyes are these two cameras. Yeah, because they're quite big. But I don't think that they look kind of weird. You have to get used to the design, but uh, I don't mind them. I think that the design overall looks great. So what are you able to get in these cameras? Get a 50 megapixel main camera, which is not RGB, but it's RGBW, which actually means that it is kind of inserting white pixels in between all the other pixels. So you should get more light in your photos and less noise. You get a 13 megapixel wide angle camera with field of view of 120 degrees. 
and the 32 megapixel front camera for your selfies which gets you an 8 megapixel picture because it uses pixel binning so it is basically combining four pixels into one another cool feature of this phone regarding the camera is taking videos you're able to shoot videos in 8k at 24 fps and you also have the ability to use adaptive stabilization which is kind of a cool feature because I'm sure you know that when you're using stabilization, you either use gimbals or you're actually cutting into the picture because you use digital stabilization. So uh, according to like how the phone moves, how the phone is shaking, you're cutting into the picture. So this is adaptive. So according to how much the phone is shaking, it is cutting into the picture so that you get a beautiful smooth motion. So basically it dynamically adjusts the field of view according to how much your phone is shaking. I've tried this out and I think that it works really amazingly. The video footage out of this phone is next level, so definitely have a look at it. Another very important feature of the phone nowadays is the zoom lens. So um, you see two cameras, I talked about the main camera, about the wide angle camera, so you're probably asking, yeah, well, can I zoom in? Um, yeah, you can zoom in, um, you got a 2x zoom. Which is a digital zoom meaning that it is really like looking into the picture it is digitally zooming it's not the camera zooming but you get a great ai processing and when i say it's great it really is great if anyone would look at the picture he wouldn't know that it is like digitally zoomed in really it looks amazing the only downside of this i have experienced is that when you're taking a picture at 2x zoom you actually have to wait a bit and at first i didn't notice it so i just took the 2x photo and then i kind of like moved my phone away and then i saw a notification saying like oh your photo might be blurry so you might want to take it again so yeah indeed it wasn't blurry but indeed uh, it takes a while for you to take the 2x picture so it can process it but the end result is really pretty what i've seen or what i feel like it struggles a bit with is when you have like really really great sunlight which is like i was trying to capture flowers and maybe you can see in the pictures i'm showing you that when you're trying to capture like a flower which has only one color so let's say it's i don't know like bright pink or something or black or, or purple then you can see that you're kind of losing the structure of the flower like the depth of the petals and you're only seeing like the full color like if you would just paint it with your brush but maybe that's just my personal opinion you can look at the photos and tell me in the comments if you have the same feeling it also has a feature called ai object sense which is basically like a segmentation and if you're not familiar with what segmentation is i'm sure you've edited some pictures and you've used masks so for example you draw a mask with your finger for example over yourself so that you can like um change the background like give your background for example more saturation or something the same you might uh, just select the sky to make the sky look maybe more blue without making the whole picture look blue so it basically segments the picture according to what's in the picture so whether it's a person whether it's sky or whatever it is and it uses some settings for the specific thing and this way it can basically adjust different pieces of the picture with different settings what is also pretty cool that it is using something called hyper clarity what this actually does is when you're shooting something um at a zoom which is larger than four what it's gonna do it's gonna kind of like predict what the next pixel is so how you can think of this you have a lower resolution picture and you want it to look really good so what you're gonna do you're gonna take the pixel that's in the photo and you're gonna try to like enlarge the photo so you're gonna try to like guess what the surrounding pixels should look like in order to make your picture like a more quality one so if there's a red pixel there's a great chance that the surrounding pixels are going to be red as well so you just compute that and they're doing this on the raw pictures so they're trying to give you like the most quality picture another thing i've noticed is taking selfies the selfies look very natural and when i mean very natural i mean it like really natural you look like you would be looking into the mirror which is great because with selfie cameras i've always had to had the idea of like looking some kind of artificial or my skin looking i don't know pink yellow or whatever and not the actual skin color so uh with this camera this is really good you look all natural the 
photos are really beautiful. What's also new is the semantic search in the gallery. So when you want to look up a picture, maybe of your dog, of your cat or of whoever, or whatever, you just type in into the gallery and it searches the pictures for you. One thing I have not talked about yet is the processor. It uses the newest Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. And with it, you're probably asking, what's the gaming experience? Well, the gaming experience is great because you're able to get to up to 144 hertz with this display. And another question that arises is probably, okay, so I'm gonna, I'm able to get up to 144 hertz. What is the usual refresh rate? Well, the usual refresh rate depends on what you're doing because it uses uh, adaptive refresh rate. What I was able to get were 90 hertz while I was quickly scrolling something and I was able to get 60 hertz when I was just looking at some messages. Now, let's get back to the gaming experience. So when you're playing a game, uh, you're able to set up your game genie just like on the ROG Phone 7 which is a gaming phone and from the lab results of Asus, uh, the Zenfone 10 is just slightly behind of the ROG Phone 7. So you're gonna get great a gaming experience. You get a beautiful smooth experience with the 144 Hertz. You have the beautiful AMOLED screen. So your gaming experience is just great. The phone is very comfortable to use while gaming. It does not crazily heat up or something. Of course, it gets warm, but it's nothing that would somehow make you feel bad about it. You also get a great sound with the two stereo speakers it has. So you kind of get like the surround sound feeling. It's using direct audio so you can look it up and uh, have a look for yourself. Uh, what the audio uh, is what you're looking for. I'm not really an audio person, so I can't really tell. Uh, while I was gaming, the sound was pretty nice. I, I was actually telling myself that this is very pretty sound, nice to listen to. But it also gives you the audio wizard where you have a tanban equalizer so you can kind of play a bit with the settings. Thanks to the 90 hertz uh, refresh rate, normally it is very quick and uh, it is really fun to use. Uh, mainly because there is like no bloatware installed. There are really useful Asus apps, uh, which help you uh, to get a better feeling of your phone and to learn more about it um, and give you some great features, but there is no bloatware. There's nothing that would be like taking space. There's nothing that would be like jumping at you from notifications. So it is very comfortable to use. One cool feature uh, it has is when you double tap the volume button, it does something called a quick shot. So let me tell you when that would be uh, needed for you, that, that would come handy. So um, let's say you're somewhere um, outdoors and you want to quickly take a photo because something happens and you want to capture it with, it with your phone, either a plane flies or a helicopter, or something you want to capture really quickly or whatever it is. Um, and your screen is locked. So what you can do is you can double tap the volume button and what that's gonna do is that's gonna quickly open the camera and take three shots for you without you touching anything else. So you don't have to be uh, worried about when you're stressed. You just double tap the volume button, you set the phone like how you wanna take the picture and it takes the pictures for you. So there's no stress in it. It is shown in the gallery as one picture and you can then uh, click on it and you can see like all the shots and decide for yourself which shot you like, which you wanna keep, uh, if you wanna keep all of them or just one, you know, the deal. Also a great uh, feature are the auto long screenshots. So you're not able to only take a screenshot of with the screen what you're seeing but you can also like start taking the screenshot and you, you can scroll on your page and it's gonna take a long screenshot it has a 4300 milliampere hour battery which is gonna get you throughout the whole day from what i've seen from the test it should give you about 22 hours and from the test it should be certain percent better than the previous Zenfone 9 and in order not to damage your battery you can also set up um kind of like charging limits so that you can say that the battery is only gonna get charged up to 90 percent or something depending on what charger you have it's gonna give you suggestions so you can set it up so that you're not damaging your battery and you're getting the most battery life out of it okay i think 
think that's about it what i wanted to say what were my first impressions the phone has just come out so we're gonna see a lot of reviews a lot of opinions on this i'm glad that you watched my opinion and i'm also very happy and very grateful to aces who were kind enough to send me this phone for a review so big thanks to them and big thanks to you for watching the video if you like my content please like and subscribe also write me anything in the comments below and i'll get you thanks bye